In this video, I do a quick review of the two-axis gimbal stabilizer for smartphones from Matop. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do tech gear and audio and video gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, I'll list out all the specs about this stabilizer as well as any notes or things I forgot in the YouTube description. So check those out at any time. Let's jump into the review. So Matop sent out this uh, stabilizer to test out a little while ago and I was pumped to finally get around to testing it with Omar shooting some footage and uh, checking it out. And so here's what you get in the box. You get the stabilizer itself, two axis gimbal. You get the um, lithium battery charger. So it comes with three lithium batteries. Those are in there right now. And you also get your micro USB cable. You also have the user manual and a warranty card. And so um, that's what's in the box. Now, first off thing to note is that this is a two axis stabilizer that'll work with your smartphone. And it's supposed to fit about 90% of smartphones. And so there might be a few that wouldn't work with it, but this is a iPhone 6S Plus, so it's a larger version. We also tested it out on, of course, the smaller version, uh, just the iPhone, not plus version. And so uh, it should fit most phones, and then two axis or three axis. And so this is a two axis um, gimbal, and this is a very budget option as far as smartphone stabilizers. Three axis, if you're doing the research, is, is gonna typically be better, because you have a whole nother axis that's gonna remove shake, um, but it's also gonna typically be more expensive. So that's just something to note. And then on the um, gimbal itself, once you have the, your three lithium batteries inside of there, you can power it up. You need to always balance it before, so you you do the balancing um, of the uh, of your phone with this little slider piece right here, and make sure it's balanced. Then you can fire it up, and then you've got a pitch adjustment where you can um, pan the uh, phone up and down, and then you also you've got the M1 setting, which is. Um, it'll, if you start to tilt, it'll tilt with you, and that's kind of like a follow stabilization. And then M2 is it'll lock on in a particular position, and then it'll keep it in that position. So when you see people do this kind of stuff with their deal, it um, will keep it in that one position. So two different settings, and we shot some example footage. And so here you can see this is an iPhone 6S plus, so the larger version, which has in-camera image stabilization as well. So here you can see it handheld. And then after we shot that, we threw it on the stabilizer and then shot um, with the um, uh, Ma Top doing some stabilization. And so this shot right here comes out from kind of behind the edge. I walked towards the camera, Omar's walking backwards. We tested out a running shot. And so we did running backwards, just handheld on the phone. And then here is running backwards with the Ma Top stabilizer in action. And then we also um, did a shot of just walking forward. So you can see behind me, Omar's behind me, he's filming me. Um, here's just handheld on the iPhone 6S Plus. And then here's a shot of um, it on the stabilizer walking um, behind me stabilized. And then one thing to note is that an iPhone 6S Plus has uh, stabilization in the camera. The 6 S that uh, Omar has doesn't. And so here's a shot of just the 6S, no stabilizer, walking uh, behind me. So walking forward with the stabilizer. And then here's a shot of the Ma Top, which is the iPhone 6S, not the large version, no image stabilization. And so what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. You're seeing a couple different examples of the footage here. You know, my kind of first impressions from using it is especially if your phone didn't have image stabilization, that this really adds some help, um, you know, to that, to stabilize your footage a little bit. But I found it that generally, and obviously if you're running or you're doing something else, it's a little more challenging, but with the built, the in-camera in stabilization of the iPhone, it looked pretty close. I mean, uh, the Ma Top definitely is, is helping a bit, but the in-camera stabilization is pretty good as well. And then one other thing to consider is that really the operator is important when it comes to these. I think that they're not 
magic, especially a two ac access one. So if you go out and you just expect to just shoot randomly and crazy and have it be perfectly stable, it's usually not gonna happen. Um, I used to shoot with glide cams and some different things in the in, back in the day. And even sometimes you would add a little bit of like just two fingers to slightly stabilize, keep things steady. So let the stabilizer bring the jitter out, but then also um, put a little finesse with your second hand and also using two hands and learning some of the disciplines. So to really get results, you know, I think with the stabilizer, I don't feel like any of them on the market are really at a place where, you know, they just literally make magic happen. You still have to kind of make sure it's balanced right and just try to apply best practices uh, when it comes to getting good footage. And then for the price, now, this is a budget stabilizer. And so at the time of shooting this video, you could pick one up for $109 US. Um, and so if you could pair that to a well-known name brand, DJI Osmo Mobile, that version is $299 or $300. So for about one third of the price, um, is is what this would come come in on and so all in all, you know I think that it's worth maybe having a look at um, if you are looking for some stabilization for your smartphone We had fun using it look forward to you know, maybe shooting some more shots and some other tests in the future and uh, Especially if your phone didn't have image stabilization something to check out and so we'll link up all the details in the YouTube description below so you can see all the specs and um, things like that Question of the day, have you tried any smartphone gimbals and had good results with them, mixed results with them? Let me know in the comment section below and remember that some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's actually a guide where I list out all of my favorite cameras, lenses, lighting, tripods for every different budget for creating awesome content online. So if you wanna check that out, we'll link it up in the YouTube description as well as on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Stabilization, it really makes sense. <clears throat> uh, three access is gonna give you even better stabilization. Mm, the trusty packing tape.